it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today guys, we are doing oatmeal recipes. Yes, it's quite unusual for me to do oatmeal recipes because I don't actually eat oatmeal that much, especially for being a vegan. I know that most vegans eat oatmeal for breakfast like all the time. In fact, I actually did a breakfast, a week of vegan breakfast recipes video recently and I specifically titled it No Oatmeal because <laughs> I was getting a little bit sick of seeing oatmeal for breakfast for like every single one I eat in a day from every single vegan so I was like okay I will not do oatmeal but I want to show you guys some very unusual unconventional oatmeal recipes and I love these mainly because they are savory oatmeal recipes. And I know that most people, as soon as they hear that, are gonna think, ugh. <laughs> because that's what I thought, honestly, when I heard about savory oatmeal, even though I am such a savory person, like I like savory food, and I'm a savory tooth rather than a sweet tooth, even though that's me, when I heard of savory oatmeal, something just like didn't sit right. Like it just didn't seem right until I tried it. And now guys, I am obsessed. It's so good. And these three recipes, I really think you guys will like it. Oatmeal is actually really awesome. So I really do want to love it because oatmeal has just so many health benefits and it's just really good for you overall. It's supposed to keep you very satiated. It's quite high on that satiety index. And yeah, it's just a really good cheap food as well. Very, very budget friendly easy to find and very versatile as well. So I really don't want to like crap on oatmeal, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so today I want to show you guys these awesome recipes and I really hope you guys try these because I think you might be very surprised. As always guys, the written recipes will be linked in a blog post down below in the description box. So don't forget to check that out if you want to make any of these. And don't forget to take me on Instagram if you do make these or any of my recipes because we do repost some of your creations on my community page, which is Cheap Lazy Gang. And it's a lot of fun, so come join us over there. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with recipe number one. So the first recipe I'm gonna show you guys is how to make an oatmeal version of bibimbap. Bibimbap is a traditional Korean dish that stands for mixed rice. And it's basically rice with lots of veggies mixed with gochujang, which is a Korean spicy paste. It's very, very popular and very delicious. And for this recipe, we'll be making this without rice, but with oatmeal. Let's start by adding a third cup of rolled oats into a pan. And I'm just going to lightly toast it on medium high heat for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna add in two third cup of water and we're gonna cook this until the water is fully absorbed and the oatmeal is cooked. This should take just a few more minutes. And then we are going to set this aside and on the same pan, I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of oil and then let's add in one carrot julienne and one cup of chopped kale. And honestly, you can add whatever vegetables you have or you want to add. So we're just gonna cook it for a few minutes, add some splashes of water if needed, and we're just gonna let the carrots soften. And then after a few minutes, we can add in half a tablespoon of soy sauce and half a tablespoon of garlic powder. And once the veggies are cooked to your liking, we can add the oatmeal back into the mixture and mix this well. At this point, you can turn off the heat. And now we can add in, of course, one tablespoon of gochujang, which is Korean red chili pepper paste, and one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. And let's mix this really well one more time with a spoon. And guys, if you can't really handle spice, then I would recommend adding a little less gochujang and maybe a little more soy sauce. And now we can put this in a lovely serving bowl and you can honestly serve this with whatever plant-based protein of your choice. You can add in some beans or tofu. So my favorite is tofu. I usually just pan fry some medium firm tofu and then just add it into bibimbap. But I actually had some of my vegan spam left over in my fridge. So I'm just gonna add in three pieces of my vegan spam. I also call this my smoked tofu recipe. So if you guys haven't tried this recipe, I'm gonna link that down below. It's super delicious, super flavorful, and it's really good to add into whatever dishes. So there it is, guys. That's how you make an oatmeal version of bibimbap. This is a quick and easy way to make bibimbap, especially if you don't want to wait for your rice to cook, because that's the worst thing about rice is that it takes a long time to cook, whereas oatmeal is super quick. So yeah, hope you guys try this out. It's really good. The next recipe is definitely one of my favorites, guys. This is an oatmeal lentil congee. 
Kanji is basically a delicious, savory rice porridge enjoyed in Asian countries. In Korea, we actually call this juk, and you can actually make a very similar dish using oatmeal instead of rice with a fraction of the time. So, to get started, firstly, into a bowl, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of red split lentils with half a cup of boiling water. We're going to cover this up and set this aside. Then into a small pot, I'm going to add in half a cup of rolled oats. Again, I like to toast it slightly for a couple of minutes. And now we can add in one cup of water and mix this well. As we wait for this to come to a boil, let's add in one teaspoon of minced garlic. You could also just use garlic powder. And we're also going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper or just free pour like I'm doing. <laughs> and half a tablespoon of soy sauce and a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. And you wanna mix this well. This should come to a boil pretty quickly. And now we can add those soaked lentils into the pot. We're going to bring this to a boil and cook until the lentils are done and feel free to add splashes of water as needed for your desired consistency. But for this recipe, you kind of want it to be a little bit runny because it does thicken up a little bit later on. And guys, if you don't want to use lentils or if you don't have lentils, you can actually use extra soft or soft tofu for this recipe in order to add that boost of protein. And I actually really love adding soft tofu to this. So I highly recommend trying that out as well. And once your oatmeal and lentils have completely cooked, you can put it into a serving bowl. And I just had this random piece of pan fried tofu just laying around, so I just sliced it up and I'm just adding it into this bowl, but you don't really have to do that. But of course, you can add in whatever else you want to add. And we're also going to add in some chopped green onion. Of course, it's pretty much a must for this. And I also like to add in a few pieces of nori that I just cut up with some kitchen scissors. I'm going to also add some more black pepper. I really like my kanji very peppery, so I like to add lots of pepper. And I'm also going to garnish with some toasted sesame seeds. And I'm finishing off with another must-have, which is a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Must, must, must. It's so good. And this is seriously so, so good, you guys. You'd be surprised at how similar it is to actual kanji. It's super comforting on a cold day or if you're feeling sick. And um, I pretty much like this better than most sweet oatmeal recipes I've had. Yeah, I just love it so much. And it does thicken up a little more later, as you can see here. So yeah, I hope you guys try this out. And if you do, let me know what you think. I hope you like it. And the final recipe is going to be a creamy oatmeal risotto. And I'm sensing you probably see a theme here. I'm basically replacing rice with oatmeal for all of these recipes. But of course, nothing can ever replace rice, okay? But you can make these oatmeal recipes in a matter of minutes compared to how long it takes for rice. So to me, that's the biggest advantage of using oatmeal. And this savory oatmeal risotto turned out so, so good. I actually surprised myself. So let me show you how to make it. We're starting with four pieces of dried shiitake mushrooms that have been neglected in the back of my pantry for way too long and we're going to use them today. Okay, so we're going to place this in a bowl along with 30 grams of dry soy curls. I'm basically using up these small crumbled up pieces of soy curls and if you don't have soy curls, you can skip this step and we're just going to soak this with some boiling water for at least five to ten minutes. Then we're gonna drain the water and take out the shiitake mushrooms and we're just gonna slice them into thinner, smaller pieces. Now into a nonstick pan, we're gonna melt one tablespoon of vegan butter on medium high heat. And if you don't have vegan butter, you can just use oil. So once we've done that, we can add in a quarter of an onion. You can dice it or slice it. It looks like I kind of did a halfway dice. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna do that. We're gonna add in half a tablespoon of minced garlic as well. And we're gonna cook this for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna add in the soy curls and mushrooms and cook this for another couple of minutes. And if you're not using soy curls, you can use any other type of plant-based protein of your choice. You can use lentils like we did in the last recipe, which I think would be really delicious. And I think also chickpeas would go really well with this as well. 
And now let's add in one tablespoon of coconut aminos or soy sauce. I'm using coconut aminos. It's a little bit sweeter than regular soy sauce. I really love it. So I'm using that, but you can just use regular soy sauce. Mix this well and of course add splashes of water if needed. And now for the star of the show, we're going to add in half a cup of rolled oats. And along with that, we're going to add in one and a half cups of non-dairy milk. And to add in more flavor, we're going to crumble up a quarter of a vegetable stock cube and we're going to mix this in. And then I decided to add in a little bit more non-dairy milk. I ended up adding in another half a cup of non-dairy milk. So in total, I added in two cups of non-dairy milk. So you can do that as well if you'd like, depending on kind of the consistency that you're looking for. Then let's add the rest of the seasonings. I'm doing half a teaspoon of parsley, half a teaspoon of thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And we're gonna mix this well and cook this on medium high heat until the oatmeal is completely cooked. And of course you reach your desired consistency. So feel free to add in a little more water or a little more non-dairy milk as needed. Again, remember this will thicken up a bit more over time. So yeah, that's one thing to take note of. And now we can put this in a serving plate or a serving bowl. You can give this a taste and top with some salt and pepper as needed. And I'm also going to add a nice sprinkle of vegan Parmesan. This is my cashew Parmesan, which is so delicious. And if you need the recipe for this, it's like really easy. I'll link the recipe down below. And that is how easy it is to make a delicious vegan creamy mushroom risotto with oatmeal. I know doesn't this look fantastic okay trust me this is creamy this is delicious and i think you'll be very pleasantly surprised at how good it is so if you're not a big fan of the sweet oatmeals or even if you are a big fan of the sweet oatmeals i highly recommend just give it a try okay just try it out and let me know what you think all right you guys so those were my savory unconventional unique oatmeal recipes I really hope you guys try these out and let me know down below what your thoughts are because I love these so much. I think they are so much more tasty than like sweet oatmeal. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just a very savory type of person. But I think either way, whether or not you're a sweet tooth or a savory tooth, you will still really like these and you would be very pleasantly surprised at how delicious savory oatmeal can be. So yeah, don't forget to try these out. Let me know if you do try them out. Take me at Cheap Lazy Gang or Cheap Lazy Vegan because I love seeing your creations. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!